Cuban people to demand that Biden take Cuba off the list of state sponsors of terrorism. Estamos aquí una vez más, en este caso, frente a la Casa Blanca, pidiendo que se saque a Cuba de la lista de países terroristas, que se levante ese bloqueo cruel e inhumano que castiga, asfixia y mata a la familia cubana. Biden has kept that awful policy that is strangling the Cuban people. It has made it way more difficult for the Cuban people to access basic necessities. He pledged in Miami that he would revert all these measures. So we're here to remind him that he hasn't fulfilled his promises and we're not going to let him forget. It's really our you know, responsibility as Americans to fight back against these attacks against countries like Cuba. We're making moves, we're taking stances. Cientos de organizaciones están aquí. Gente de diferentes credos, ideologías, de diferentes geografías. Somos de Perú. Hemos venido en solidaridad con el pueblo de Cuba. Nosotros sabemos que el bloqueo es otro tipo de genocidio. We've been here all week, joining uh, forces here, joining the vast majority of people in this country opposed to our government's policy toward Cuba. We've had a, a, a wonderful vigil uh, in front of the United Methodist Building on Capitol Hill. We also stood in solidarity with the Amazon Labor Union yesterday in front of Jeff Bezos' house. We had an event hosted by the DC Metro Coalition in solidarity with the Cuban people. Que Biden oiga el sentido común y el mensaje de amor de millones de norteamericanos que ya es hora de, de que se levante esta política cruel, obsoleta e inhumana.